NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to explain about Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's current law, and Kirchhoff's voltage law. It is a very basic thing for electrical and electronics students, and also all other engineering students should know about the basics of electrical. Okay. First thing, Ohm's law. Already we explained in the previous video about the Ohm's law with a simple analogous. Okay, if you watch this video, it will be easily uh, understandable one. Okay, uh, Ohm's law state that voltage across a resistive element is equal to current flow through the element into resistance value, value of the element. How, sir? That is explained in the previous video. Okay. For example. A circuit is given, a resistive circuit is given. Here, this point is V1 voltage, and other point voltage is V2. So, voltage across the resistive element is V1 minus V2. Why is that V1 minus V2 instead of V2 minus V1? Here, current flows from V1 to V2. So that V1 voltage act, V1 voltage will be higher than V2 voltage, then only the current will flow from V1 to V2. So, the voltage across the resistive element is V1 minus V2. Current flow through the resistive element is I. By the Ohm's law, V1 minus V2 is equal to I into R. Okay. Another one example. A circuit is given here. Current flow through the resistive element. I1 current flows from plus to minus, but I2 current flows from bottom to top. Yet current flows through the resistive element is I1 minus I2. Okay. Voltage across the resistive element is V. Current flow through the resistive element is I1 minus I2. Because I1 current flows from top to bottom and I2 current flows from bottom to top. So net current flow, net current flow through the resistive element from top to bottom is I1 minus I2. Okay. By Ohm's law. V is voltage across the resistive element V is equal to current I1 minus I2 into resistance Vr. Okay. Then the Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's cur current law states that sum of incoming current at a junction is equal to sum of outgoing current. Okay. A voltage analogous for the Kirchhoff's current law was explained in the previous video. Just watch. In an example, a circuit is given. Is junction two junctions are there, so we may not on the voltage at the junction V1 V2. There is no element between the node V1 and V2. So if there is no element between the node, then the voltage at the node will be the same. V1 is equal V2. So we may write V1 is equal V2 is equal V. Just we may replace the circuit. Both the circuits are same. Now apply the Kirchhoff's current law. Incoming current here at the junction, incoming current is I1 and 2. So sum of incoming current is I1 plus 2. Outgoing current I2 and 1. So sum of outgoing current is I2 plus 1. By the Kirchhoff's current law, sum of incoming I1 plus I2 is equal to sum of outgoing I2 plus 1. So you may rewrite the equation I1 minus I2 is equal to minus 1. This is the Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that algebraic sum of voltage around a loop is equal to zero. Let us take an example. A circuit is given. Before applying the KVL, you should remember some points. So first point is always current flow from positive polarity to negative polarity. Because electron will flow from negative to positive. Electron and current flow is opposite. Point number two is Positive voltage if current flow from positive to negative. If current flow from positive to negative, then voltage will be positive voltage. If current flow from negative to positive, the voltage will be negative voltage. Okay. Point four is resistive element does not have a polarity. So assume positive polarity at the current entering side for theoretical calculation. These four points you should remember uh, for the calculation of Kirchhoff's voltage law. First step, mark the polarity for resistive element. Plus polarity at current entering side, negative polarity at current leaving side. For this element, current entering side is this, so positive polarity, current leaving side is negative polarity. For what element, 
Current entering side is plus, then leaving side is negative. Similarly for RD also. Next, apply the KVL from this point V2 plus V2 because current flow from plus to minus so positive voltage. Here current flows from plus to minus so positive voltage I into R1. In V3, current flows from minus to plus so negative voltage so negative voltage minus V3. Here residual amount current flows from positive negative so positive voltage IR2. In V4, current flows from positive negative so positive voltage. In R3, current flows from positive negative so positive voltage. In V1, current flows from negative to positive so minus voltage. This is the algebraic sum of voltage equal to zero. Okay, here positive and negative should be carefully go to write. This is the case of voltage law. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment and share. See you next time.